Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about cellulose acetate electrophoresis. This video contains the following contents. First, an introduction about cellulose acetate electrophoresis followed by principle of cellulose acetate electrophoresis, materials required for cellulose acetate electrophoresis, procedure for cellulose acetate electrophoresis, applications of cellulose acetate electrophoresis, advantages of cellulose acetate electrophoresis, and finally, limitations of cellulose acetate electrophoresis. Cellulose acetate electrophoresis Cellulose acetate electrophoresis is a type of zone electrophoresis that separates molecule in liquid form such as proteins on a membrane or stripe made of cellulose acetate. The separation is purely based on their size and charge. Cellulose acetate electrophoresis was first developed by a German chemist Joachim Kohn in the year 1957. Cellulose acetate electrophoresis is similar to paper electrophoresis but utilizes cellulose acetate membranes instead of paper. Cellulose acetate offers several advantages over paper. It includes better resolution, faster migration rates and easier staining. Cellulose acetate electrophoresis is suitable for various type of samples such as nucleic acids, proteins, polypeptide dyes and mixture of dyes and polysaccharides. Principle of Cellulose Acetate Electrophoresis The cellulose acetate strip is first wetted in the electrophoresis buffer. Then the sample is loaded in the strip approximately one third area of the strip. The end of the strip is in contact with the buffer with the help of a filter paper wick. The electric volt of 6 to 8 volt is provided in the strip for about an hour. The components are separated in the form of bands based on their charges. The positively charged substances move to the cathode and the negatively charged substances move to the anode. At the end of the electrophoresis, separated components can be strained and unstrained for visualization purposes and for further quantitative analysis. Materials required for cellulose acetate electrophoresis. First, cellulose acetate strip or membrane. Cellulose acetate is a thermoplastic resin. The cellulose paper is acetylated by treating it with acetic anhydride. It is used as a support matrix. Here, one side of the strip acts as the cathode, another side acts as a anode. The second material is electrophoresis buffer. Tris EDTA buffer or TAB of 8.4 pH is usually used for analyzing the blood. The third material is electrophoresis tank. An horizontal electrophoresis tank with an adjustable bridge is used for the cellulose acetate electrophoresis. The fourth material is power supply. A power supply that can deliver constant current is required. It can go up to 400 volts. The fifth material is filter paper wicks. 3 mm Wattman filter paper wick with a length similar to the width of an electrophoretic tank is used for cellulose acetate electrophoresis. Finally, spectrophotometer or cymogram paper or materials for blotting technique are required for detecting and quantifying the separated components during the cellulose acetate electrophoresis. Procedure for cellulose acetate electrophoresis. There are five steps. The first step is sample preparation. The sample containing the charged molecules is dissolved in a suitable buffer solution. The second step is membrane preparation. A cellulose acetate membrane is soaked in the same buffer solution. The third step is sample application. A small amount of the sample is applied to a specific point on the membrane. The fourth step is electrophoresis. 
the membrane is placed between two electrodes and then electric current is applied. The fifth step is visualization. The separated molecules are visualized using the strains or other detection methods. Applications of cellulose acetate electrophoresis. There are five applications. The first application is serum protein electrophoresis. This is the most common application of cellulose acetate electrophoresis. It separates serum protein into five distinct fractions which includes albumin, alpha 1, alpha 2, beta and gamma globulins. This is very useful in the diagnosis of liver diseases, kidney diseases and multiple myeloma. The second application is hemoglobin electrophoresis. Cellulose acetate electrophoresis can be used to separate and identify different hemoglobin variants which is important in diagnosing hemoglobin such as sickle cell anemia and thalassemia. The third application is lipoprotein electrophoresis. Cellulose acetate electrophoresis is used to separate and analyze different lipoproteins in blood samples and helping in the study of lipid metabolism and cardiovascular diseases. The fourth application is isoenzyme electrophoresis. Cellulose acetate electrophoresis can differentiate isoenzymes and aiding in the diagnosis of certain diseases like liver or heart disorder. The fifth and final application is urine and cerebrospinal fluid protein electrophoresis. Cellulose acetate electrophoresis can be applied to detect and analyze proteins which are present in urine or cerebrospinal fluid to help and diagnose multiple sclerosis, renal diseases and other neurological disorders. Advantages of Cellulose Acetate Electrophoresis The advantages of Cellulose Acetate Electrophoresis includes easy setup, timely detection, less time consuming, no tailing effect, better zone development, rapid and simple method, high resolution and reproducible. Limitations of Cellulose Acetate Electrophoresis There are five limitations. The first limitation is only applicable under the alkaline condition. The cellulose acetate electrophoresis can only be used when the buffer is alkaline. The second limitation is chance of electroosmosis. The sulfonic and carboxylic acid and its residues can induce electroosmosis during the cellulose acetate electrophoresis. The third limitation is difficult in quantification. The process is difficult to quantify and requires extensively blotting technique to quantify the amounts of components after the separation process. The fourth limitation is limited sensitivity. It is less sensitive than more advanced methods like polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis or capillary electrophoresis. The fifth and final limitation is it is semi-quantitative in nature. Quantitation can be less precise when compared to the modern electrophoresis techniques. Dear viewers, that's all about the cellulose acetate electrophoresis. Thank you for your support. Thank you.